Welcome back to Tiny Town! Last time, well, we ended with things being a little rough for Camillo. Um, not only did we run out of money, but also mostly the bugs. The bugs were bad. But, good news, I figured out the issue and it's all back to normal. Well, as normal as rentals can be. So there's no Rolodex this episode because last time I said we're going to finish Camillo today, which is exactly what we're going to do. And you'll notice I'm back in my own house, not living with Sunny and Judith anymore. And I actually am in my own apartment. And if I go to build mode, check this cool trick out. Check this out. Wall. Oh, hang on. <laughs> okay, well, don't check that out. I don't want to delete stuff. Wall. And it builds, it builds people, we're back. So just to explain what happened, which if you missed the last episode, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So I guess you could skip this bit. But what I noticed is I couldn't, the only house I could build in was in Judith and Sunny's house, which then, that, first of all, that realization took me a while to even get to. Cause originally, remember I said, it, maybe it was only the last two units over six. I thought it was unit seven and unit eight that had the issues. But then I realized we had the same issue in Silas's place. And then I tested a couple others and they all had the issue except for Sonny and Judith's place. So then I had to start narrowing down what the actual issue was. I was like, is that the water? But then I was like, no, we had the water before. That's not really an issue. I was like, is it the plants? Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, long story short, I don't know what the exact issue is, but this um, balcony area used to be part of their unit. And since removing it from their unit, we don't have any issues. I don't, there's something about this. And I'm wondering, maybe it was, rela maybe it was related to the columns. Because remember how we couldn't see them? I was like, maybe this, the game is trying to do something with them and it just isn't working. Anyway, we're back on track, people. Now, one bit of feedback, which I agree with, was that the downstairs are maybe too dark. I was actually trying to go for like a really luxe, dark, calming, cozy sort of spa vibe, like really quiet and peaceful. But it kind of maybe came off a little bit more antique -y and old because of the wallpaper music, especially. But also, I guess from the outside, we're going light, bright and airy, beiges, that kind of stuff. So I guess I should probably carry that same sort of theme inside. So I think what I'm going to do before we get stuck into because we, we do need to earn more money. Before we get to that bit, I'm going to replace the darker walls with this sort of stone wall from outside. I don't know if all of this should be that. I think I need to do something else. Oh, this, yeah, this sort of wavy smooth pattern, I think it maybe in combination might work well. Yeah, I think that like that looks nice in that wall because I think if I add the brick everywhere, I think it might get a little too busy. So having it in combination with the smoother pattern, which actually I think if we do like some bricks maybe on those bits, keep it smooth behind the door. It's kind of interesting. I don't know, interesting look. And we just combine the wallpapers and patterns. So we'll have some walls with the bricks or the tiles. I don't really know exactly what they are. And I'm wondering if I, can I get the smaller window at the end here? Oh, it's kind of annoying because of the railing. Hmm. They did want some light coming into this hallway, but there's not really a way to do that. Okay, so I sort of just changed all the colors to be a bit lighter and brighter. Which I think is nice. I think that probably does fit better. I'm gonna keep the doors that sort of wood color. I think that's nice. Um, there's not as like there's not more windows or anything like that. But I guess maybe we could just open up these ones. They don't need to be closed. I don't think there's like a really there wasn't a purple curtain, was there? Oh, there's like these ones. These ones. Oh wait, that that color's not great. <laughs> yeah, that's not great. Yeah, that's right. Our, our purple options are pretty limited. Could do like those. Or what about just even these? These have purple on the bottom, but then they're just sheer. <laughs> Cause I just want it to like feel a bit brighter inside, which is one of the comments you guys, you know, you guys were mentioning. Should feel lighter and brighter, which I agree with. So maybe we need that. This is a change room. So <laughs> I don't know if removing the curtains on this one makes the most sense, but I'm going to. I might keep the bathroom ones though. Okay, that's better. Now another popular suggestion, which actually before I get into that, maybe I should um, do the same thing up here. We'll use rugs instead of, instead of the dark flooring. I'll probably change the walls too, but um, one of the suggestions was just have the bedroom up here, which I guess makes sense now. Now that it's actually inside properly with the stairs and all that, we can put curtains on these, make that a bedroom, and then this can be Camilo's like private meditation and yoga space instead of like the shared space. I guess the thing is we don't have a yoga space for the town, but we could just set up something in, in the uh, town hall. Cause we do have, we do have room. We can turn that, this was like a yoga room at one point. So we could utilize that or even down here somewhere. But yeah, basically I'm gonna, I guess we wouldn't need a personal massage table. I'll probably take that with me. I'm gonna put it down there for now. Okay, but if our ladder's there, we kind of need the bed to be, I mean, ideally if it's in the middle of the room, that'd be pretty cool. Might really be able to fit bedside tables, I don't think, which I don't know if that's a, oh, I guess we can actually, these are pretty small. Do I even still want bedside tables though? You know, we could do the pink bed. I know it's not purple, but maybe that sort of goes better with the theme of everything. 
everything. I don't know if that really works, but could try it out. Now, yeah, this curtain, I think, yeah. I don't want it like fully closed though. Really wish I was a version of this open. Could do this, it's it's obviously more magenta -y, but I kind of feel like it fits the vibe. Does mean our wallpaper and stuff doesn't really go though. Hmm. Oh, we could do, actually this color kind of matches the bed, which is, wait, second one. Obviously not, oh wait, no it doesn't. Okay, it looks like, oh, that's so annoying. Over here, it looks like it matches the bed. Over here, it's a different color. Okay, maybe just white. <laughs> I think we just get the curtains white then, because if we can't get a nice purple or we can't match the bed, it might as well just be plain. I don't want this to be either side of it. How does that work? Does that, oh, no, that doesn't work. Because I kind of want it to be open here so you can see out a little bit better. Hmm. Actually, maybe these, oh, these might work much better, actually. Could even do this more. Okay, yeah, yeah, these ones. Riviera Retreat Kit. I think these work better just in general. Okay, and then can I do this rug under the bed or in the room? or are we because i got these do i want to i like the, the tiles are fun maybe hang on maybe we need to change it maybe the tiles go outside here and then inside we do these more these limestone ones so we still get the fun and wackiness of those tiles which i think works on the outside too and then we get the rug on the inside which doesn't really the problem is the color i guess I, we either have to accept that the colors are not really gonna match all together or I just need to do something different. Maybe the bed should be the more beige color or like the white. No. <laughs> Look, either way, I think it looks ridiculous and maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> it's definitely more pink though. That's kind of what's annoying me. All right, purple dresses, we don't, oh, actually that one. I think just because of the pattern maybe goes a bit better. I was gonna say there's not really much that goes <laughs> with the whole theme of lux, like we're doing a palace, luxury palace, and purple. The purple, I think, is what's making it really hard, to be honest. Maybe we need to try a different bed eventually. I will, I, we need more money. I'm gonna leave this here for now. I think we're getting somewhere. I do think we're getting somewhere now. Um, our kitchen is a little scuffed, but that's okay. So, we, we're actually getting somewhere, and I, I like that. Let's go, you know what, let's go sleep. I don't think I need to, but let's go do it anyway, just to test it out. Oh, I forgot about this. I'm going to put this in my inventory because I don't need that out there. And maybe we'll give massages somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so we do need to play some more, earn a bit more money. Ladder is working. I guess it is a bit strange now that the ladder, I guess, is technically in the public sparse, public space. It's not obviously really public, but kind of. I guess we could actually sh set this as shared. Actually, that might make sense. Maybe I should do that. I don't know why I didn't even consider that. Because I want this to be a public space for Tiny Town, for people to come in and be able to use it. So why wouldn't I make this shared? That makes way more sense. So I guess I'm just gonna make this whole downstairs shared space, which I guess I didn't consider until this very moment. But now also when we're playing other tiny towns, we can also come in and use this space, which is kind of cool. So I just have to make sure my front door is set as the one here. Yes, it is, good. So that's now my front door. Again, now it is weird that this is definitely, well actually, hang on. This needs to be shared space. And I guess I just need to set if we just put this, how do I want to, maybe just do this. Might need to do a little bit of layout reworking here, but if I then just open up the door or the, the ladder here. Oh, I didn't change the walls up here, hang on. This should all be lighter. <laughs> lighter and a bit more airy too, and the tiles. Could do a chandelier up here. Yeah, that's a bit better. Might be a bit bright, but anyway. Okay, so now that's actually inside my apartment. Okay, good enough sleep. Now, there was a great suggestion. What is this? Well, I'm, I'm tense. I'm gonna be outside. There was a really good suggestion that we should do yoga in the magic realm because there's no weather and there's a really good spawn point where all the sims spawn in which is a <laughs> really good idea and you know what yoga is kind of magical the way it sort of releases your muscles and serotonin and relaxes you and invigorates you it can do so many things it's magical people so we shall travel to Glimmerbrook and we will go to this empty lot. We need to get to that portal just there and then I shall find my way down this path all the way to here and travel to the magic realm. <laughs> where there is no weather to bother, bother us. I think the also the other locations without weather is probably, I think the park, the, not the park, the um, Sylvan Glade in, in Willow Creek where you go into the magical tree and you enter the hidden lot, the Sylvan Glade. I don't believe that ever, I don't even know if it gets dark there. I think the day, the, it's always daylight there too. So that's an interesting place to do it. So yeah, I guess everyone kind of spawns in here. So if I just go here and then do place in world, all right, teach a yoga class. Public, mind concentrating. All right, welcome. I just gotta go around to, in the magic realm. Oh, the sages, get them in on it. It's actually quite warm here too, look at this. All right, everyone's kind of coming over. 
I keep inviting the sages to join, but I don't think they, I don't know if they can. They don't seem to be wanting to anyway. Welcome to the magic realm. We're gonna be doing magical yoga. Oh, that guy reset, dang it. Oh, we've already started. We've got three people. Oh, four. Oh, never mind. No, no, now we got four. Oh, no, never mind. I think they're too late. Wait, what? Maybe I should try this again with a different instructor. What the heck? Dude, I'm like the number one instructor. Try it with me. Hang on, I'll invite you again. It's always just a game of going around and clicking on everyone on the lot. Saying invite to yoga, then it also depends if they can make it to make it. Because if they don't make it to the class in time, then they just don't join. Anyone downstairs? I always forget that this is the default magic realm building. It's so bad. Excuse me? Someone said that routine is for kids, isn't it? No thanks. Okay, prove it then. Can you do it? Prove it. Oh, she said no again. Maybe you're just a baby and you can't handle yoga. You ever think about that? Okay, it's pretty good turnout. Pretty good turnout. And we're not all freezing to death, which is nice. <laughs> 1980, pretty good. I wonder, so how, wait, how long does a yoga class take? If I start doing this now, let's do mind concentrating. So it's 6.20 in the morning, I started the interaction. Although I'm for some reason walking up there. Where are you going? Stop. Okay, this is a really good turnout. So I started the interaction at 6.20. We kind of started around 7 a.m. Also no one, oh, there we go. I was gonna say no one was doing anything. Now they are, thank, thankfully. Okay, it looks about two hours from when I started the class. Okay, I was just wondering, because if I do massages, do they, are these quicker? That's my question. Now I am hungry, but we could probably squeeze in a quick massage. Let's put the table here. Okay, turn the table. So we do a $760 massage for this person. Okay, it's 845 and it didn't work. So that's the problem with this table. Wait, where did the expensive one go? I want to do the, the fertility one. That's the best one. Okay, I definitely think I earned less money if I did massages because this is just gonna take longer i'm gonna earn less because if yeah if you get a full like yoga class you make a lot of money and quick yeah 600 dollars. i mean it's not too bad is that agnes crumple bottom jr i don't know if that's the same sim but whenever i see that hair <laughs> ew my table is so dirty wait you can't clean it while you're tending it that's really silly oh magic duel okay i need to eat so let me put this in my inventory i think we just go home and just get some food all right just gonna go to the toilet actually i need to test does this bathroom work because this one I wasn't sure about, especially with the door here. It does, great. That's actually really good. And I might set this, nope, I didn't mean to say brush tea. Set sink type to bathroom, just so I don't come down from my kitchen to this one. Okay, apparently when, it, great. So I set that on, wait, oh wait, can I not use this? Is, do I need to move that? Hang on. I was like, he went upstairs to wash his hands. Wash hands, yeah, okay. So this doesn't work, the toilet does. So I think if I just move it over a little bit, to be honest, if it's just like like there, will that work? I know it's a little close to the toilet, but yeah, there you go. And then I can still use this. Cool, all right, that's all good. Okay, now the question is, wait, why is there a line here? Do I not own this? Oh, this is shared, this is not shared, that's my apartment. <laughs> this is definitely mine, there we go. And actually this, that's shared, yeah, and then this should be shared. Yeah, okay, that's better, that's better. So with this space, definitely feels a little, it needs to be more, I think it needs to be more open is, is definitely the feedback you guys are saying. So we needed some more of these archways in, I think. And honestly, probably here too. Can I, I would like hmm, a fence, obviously. Oh, maybe like a little, oh, hang on. This might work. Not that one, but like one of those kind of balcony things. Oh, it's really tiny though. That's more like a windowsill. Oh wait, one of these. Yeah, is, did I use, my, is that a magic realm fence? Oh, I think it is. Yeah, if I just change this to the white one. Yeah, that's magic realm. That one there, then that matches and has a fence. And then I guess, do I, why do I need this wall? I don't need that. That was just for when it was an archway. I guess I might as well make it bigger then. Cause now it's like safe at least. <laughs> That's better. And then I guess I should, huh, do I want to remove this wall? I don't know how open I want it to be. We could, and there was a suggestion to like keep the columns or have like columns around the place, but then still keep it open. Maybe that's a good divider and then using more drapes. Cause then we get more of the, I think the suggestion was to get more of the Arabian theme, not theme, that's definitely not the right word. <laughs> the Arabian like style and architecture and interior design. Try and get some of that into the, obviously we can only do so much, especially with such a small space, but because we've got the outside themed that way, trying to bring some of that in would be good. I guess, do we just not do a door? I think we just gotta do arches, which again, I know is weird. We are in Henford on Bagley. <laughs> it was like with the, uh, this house over here, how this is like all outside in arguably probably one of the coldest and wettest worlds in the game. Maybe besides Mount Comoravi, but um, not the best place to have an open outdoor place, but I think it might work. All right, now again, we need to incorporate some of these lighter walls with the stones and the, we obviously still need purple around the place too. I'm gonna do a base coat of that for a second, get some of this in, and then I'm gonna add the purple in. So I'm gonna keep that as a bathroom because I think that'll be useful. Maybe I can do this. Oh yeah, I like the column there. Now what's going on with this, the ladder? I think maybe if I keep the column there, 
wall off that, just so it's like looks like it's supposed to kind of be like that. Then, do we have a single archway at all? Oh, we do, I think, but it's like got the glass on top of it, right? <laughs> and actually, I don't know if I put a... Oh no, I think I tested this once. I think you can use move objects, have a ladder and a one by one, and I think they can still access it. Let's see. So this is technically the arch that matches, like see with that door there. Kind of wish it had the uh, more arched and pointed aesthetic, but that's okay. So I think this does work. Do we want to do, how about we do that? Get some of the, get some of the vibes in. Okay, I think I kind of like that. I, I like this little uh, entranceway here. Could we use, hang on, careful. Ooh, spandrel lag. Could we use, so either, so obviously I'm using the castle columns right now, which I think are actually quite nice. Is that too much? Probably. What about the, um, what kit was this? The courtyard oasis? Oh my god, that's way, that's even more. Okay, no. <laughs> this one? Oh, they're too big, which is annoying because I think it looks really good, but need a little smaller. What about Love Struck? Maybe that. That's subtle, but still I feel like adds a finishing touch there. Now, what would the ceiling be? Up here I did the, um, those stone tiles, but I don't know if I like that. Oh, wait, what if we, what if we did mosaic on the ceiling? Hmm? Hold up. This could be next level. Hold up, people. <laughs> I kind of... Okay, I think we need to change the purple walls, but I kind of like that. It's kind of a vibe. Get Instead of the ceiling being white and plain, we have the floor more plain. The ceiling is mosaic purple tiles. <laughs> I, can't, I think we're onto something, people. All right, let me get rid of that tape, obviously. We don't need that. I probably still want some purple walls around the place, but I'm going to give... We'll do the base coat of the white um, smooth and stones, and then we can add purple in where necessary. Because I, I think that, that chandelier is also hanging way too low. Like, look at this. <laughs> it, it's inside his head. It's definitely too low. We can't use that. Okay, that's also going to be an archway too. We've got, we got to get the archways everywhere. Because I actually think this will be a really nice little dining area over here. Can I fit the small windows here? Would, does this look too much if we put these here? We kind of just feel like we need more. Oh no, that looks okay. I don't know if I can do the same over here just because of the bathroom, so it might just have to be that section. The kitchen is kind of random, but I, I don't think it's ever really going to match in with the vibes. All right, let me get um, one of these rugs. Oh yes. I might need to move this column. Oh, I wish you could put it in the middle because that would be good. But obviously it won't line up there. I'm not sure exactly where we're going to have like a couch and stuff. And maybe I'll try and figure out the kitchen. What does the kitchen need to look like? It needs to be fancy and nice. I don't think this is working. I could just go white, but we've already got a lot of white is the problem now. <laughs> Although maybe that's a good base coat and then we need to do color. Get rid of these. It just looks really boring now. And I think purple cabinets kind of look, just looks tacky. So I don't think that's an option. Oh, people wanted to see some of like the, <laughs> the love struck like reptile wallpaper. <laughs> maybe this would work maybe up in the bedroom. Oh, maybe on these corner bits. It's for a bit of fun. Get the love struck, love guru vibes. Definitely, hang on, let me just get some temporary light in here so I can see what it looks like. <laughs> I actually think it's too much. I, I I like the plane, which, speaking of which, let me bring that down here. So I do think the purple around those diagonal walls kind of looks good, like here and here. Maybe even that one. So we get a little bit of purple coming in. Oh my gosh, the ceiling. Okay, I gotta remember the ceiling. Because actually, when you see the ceiling, I think it looks better. This still is not ideal. <laughs> we can't do the reptile. Where, what about that, um, that like tile backsplash they added? Where is that? Is that in a wall decoration? You'd think it would be a wall decoration, but I don't know that it is. Oh, it's art for some reason, but anyway. Maybe these could work. What options do we have? Let me see. Oh, wrong thing. It's got to kind of go with the rest of the vibe. That one's not bad. I wish there was a purple. I think it would have to be this one if we're going to do it. Hang on. Which actually, I, that's nice. I think that actually does work quite well. Okay, as for actual kitchen stuff, because there's nothing in this kitchen, I need a stove, an oven. I hate how this game has so much pink, but no purple. There's always stuff that comes in pink. I don't know why. It's not the purple color. Okay, I need a kitchen sink and I guess ideally a dishwasher. I guess we don't have to have a dishwasher. All right, we need a luxe table. Maybe this one is nice. Purple. Oh, there is actually purple. Hello. <laughs> Why is this chair 575 simoleons? It's so ugly. <laughs> I don't understand. I need a palacey vibe chair. Oh my gosh, there's purple. I don't know, this, that is not a palace vibe though. <laughs> That's not it, You know, it's hard kind of sticking to this theme. You could do like this, but that's kind of, that's not good. It looks so uncomfortable. I'm trying to do Lux and Palace. Okay, this is where I've ended up instead. We've gone lighter in the table, got the sort of purple in these chairs, and then we're adding lots of like ferny palm style plants. Get the color back in, because I think the kitchen does need to be this lighter color like that for it to work. 
And then, oh, that, I mean, that, again, this is starting to look like something. It's looking like something, whether it's something good or not, we can't be sure at this stage, but I think it's getting somewhere. Now, this technically is not flooring, but I'm gonna use move objects and put stuff on it anyway. <laughs> I guess I think it's a good place to put a plant and maybe some other stuff around as well. I don't know. Like plants are gonna help us out. I know, I know this is not Scarlet's house where it's all about the plants, but oh, this is good. Can this go into, oh, I like this. I don't know where it'd go, but this needs to go in here somewhere for sure. I'll just put it over here for now. We'll figure it out. Oh, maybe upstairs actually. I mean, I guess I can have more than one. Is it a bit random there? Kind of, but I like them. I'll get another one down here. All right, put that there for later because I'm pretty much out of money again. So we're gonna have to go do some more work, but this, ooh, this is looking good. This is looking good. Hopefully you guys are like, oh, my fridge is stinking. Uh, hang on. Where are you going? Don't walk away. Don't stop. Don't, no, Scarlet, shush. No, get back here. Where's like the clean out fridge option? Why is that not an option? That's what I was looking for, but I guess it doesn't exist. I just have to, wait, why is my fridge, my fridge is stinking, but there's nothing in it. Is there like, hang on, what's going on here? I move the fridge. Is there something on top of it? No, my fridge is definitely stinking, but there's nothing in it, which is awesome. So we just have a stinky fridge. We just got stank fridge. You know, not much we can do about it at this stage in life. You just get to that point in life and it just kind of stinks. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's make some food. Oh, actually, the other thing before I forget, I'm a cat lover. You guys wanted to see Camilo have a cat. Also, we haven't really done any dating things, but I, I don't know if we're going to even do that now. I think we got to get a cat. Maybe we can date around a little bit. Um, Adopt a cat and then I do need to get some food real quick. Oh, I'm just adopting a cat right now. You guys wanted me to get a, I think, what was the suggestion? A, a fluffy white Persian. Maybe I'll just add it from Creator Sim. That might be an easier way to do it. Because otherwise, I don't know if we'll get the right cat. And because this is Camilo's like last episode, we're not going to have that much time with the cat. So let me serve some uh, campus stew. <laughs> I don't know why I selected that, but I did. I like, I, okay, I like this vibe. This is working. Do I still have services? I might not. No, I don't. Because I moved everyone out and back in because it's a tiny town bug. I got to hire services again. Uh oh, Scarlet's plants are dying again. It's okay, I can fix it. Growth stage, blossoming. We're good. I probably should just move these to the shared space so they can actually be cared for. Probably be a better idea. Um, oh, I can't. I was going to do it here. I can't do it from Camilo's place. All right, well, whatever. Oh, the welcome wagon. Yeah, because I moved in again. Hey, guys. Everyone's, oh God, yeah, oh gosh. <laughs> Careful guys, yeah, it's a little, it's a little cramped. Um, you guys can come in. Sorry, sorry about my, my uh, balcony that is cramped. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna go through, oh God. <laughs> yeah, I've got the, the world's smallest landing. Sorry about that guys, it is, it is quite tight. Oh my God, you got me more than one fruitcake? Dude, thank you. Hey guys, yeah, welcome to the new palace. We're doing some redecorating. We've got the nice mosaic ceiling. Okay, this, <laughs> I like this, I really do. And I hope you guys do as well, because we're not coming back to this at this point, unfortunately. We're, we're locked in. But yeah, no, I think I think this is totally working. It'd be nice if it was a little sunnier outside. Hang on, put the walls up. A little sunnier outside, but um, well, it is sunny, but it doesn't look that bright for some reason. It's still like gray. But I guess that's Headfoot on Bagley for you. Inside the palace is nice and bright. Okay, I need to add a cat. Although, can I leave while this is happening? No. Um, well, the other thing I need to do is date. Let's just, oh, okay, I can't do that. <laughs> well, I don't have to date. Why is there a bowl on my floor? Why is there a bowl on my counter? All right, thanks for coming guys. All right, we got, we got a little relationship built. All right, let me get a cat in here. Okay, so we're gonna add a pet. It's gonna be a cat. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, white Persian. <laughs> yeah. Now that's a luxe cat. It's gonna be lazy apparently. And its name is gonna be random, Vern. Vern Yazzy. <laughs> sure. Oh, wait, is this purple cat clothing we can put on? Hang on. Oh, here we go. I think just like a purple collar. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Welcome Vern Yazzy to the fam. All right, where's Vern Yazzy? Get him over here. Now, should probably also, wait, how do I have more? Did I? I didn't have that much money a second ago, did I? I don't know. I feel like I had less than that, but whatever. So I need cat stuff. Let's do that before I get, I forget and then people get mad. <laughs> no purple. Uh, it's kind of, that's kind of purple. That's good. The purple on that one, but there isn't a purple auto feeder, uh, but I'll make the bowl purple and I guess white then. All right, this will go maybe over here. Yeah, this is a nice little corner to put it in. So it's just around there. Then we need a litter box. I'm definitely going to get the laser litter box so we don't have to worry about cleaning it ourselves. Um, it's maybe on the balcony, we'll put on the back balcony. Oh wait, can we even get out of here? I feel like the cat cannot get out there. Whoa, what the heck is this? Wait, where did this come from? <laughs> How did I get that? Well, let's put it there. Maybe we'll see if it works. Purple. Now the cat, unfortunately, I don't think can climb a ladder, so they won't be able to get up to that level. Oh, I can just drag this around in live mode. Can I get out? No, 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 where are you going? Don't garden, go here. Can I get onto this balcony? Oh, I can. You know what? The cat probably can use this then. Where the heck is Vern Yazzie anyway? What are you doing over there? Vern, get over here. It's calling the whistle. All right, 
Culver to eat. <clears throat> well, excuse me. Culver to eat. <laughs> now, I also need other stuff because I don't have any scratching posts or anything, so that might be nice too. Well, I've got a palace, so I feel like my cat needs a palace too, right? Now, we either do a purple palace for the cat or white. I, think I, I like the idea of this column here, but I think it has to go somewhere else because it's just kind of in the way. Maybe, oh, maybe I'll put it here because then that actually kind of nicely frames off the kitchen dining area. And then I think we can probably get a couch like maybe here and have like over there. I don't know, it's all it's all the work in progress. Do a cat tree there. Maybe this here so the cat can knock it over if it wants to. <laughs> knock over our plant. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Is, is Vern coming over? Come on. Where are you going, Camilla? <laughs> don't go play darts, not now. So to make sure Vern is happy. All right. Vern is gonna go eat, good. I guess I still have more money, I might as well See if I can buy more stuff. I feel like I got money from something. I don't know what. All right, this is the perfect couch for this. That one, and the problem with it is quite big. Is there a small version of it? Oh, we could do the love struck one like this. Oh, this might work actually quite well. I like the vibe and theme of that one because I think that definitely matches the building more. But if we're trying to use some love struck stuff too, this is actually pretty on point. And it's quite luxe for our little palace place. Now, actually I'll get this chair from upstairs. Maybe we can use that down here. Does this have like a nice clean finish on one of them? I guess like the white's not bad. Could do like the gold and the marble. I just wanted like some nice little table next to this to put like a drink on or something. But the problem is all these tables are really big. I wanted something small. And I quite like this. Might fit nicely behind here. <laughs> Does this look more like a therapy setup now? <laughs> Although that could make sense as like a wellness guy. He runs some sessions here. He sits here, the patient lies down. I was just, cause it's not really easy to fit a second seat in here for the living space. Kind of awkward. Oh, this table work. Where's that? Oh yeah, I want this rug. I think this might be nice. Hmm. I don't know if that's really what I wanted it to look like. Got a lot of different colors going on here with all these things. May oh wait, this is purple. Hello. Maybe that helps. I think behind that I might actually do that. Maybe I'll move this table. Oh, maybe this could go here. Let me put something on that. Okay. All right, this is coming along. This is coming along. Obviously we need more money and it needs some more work put into it. And we've still got some balconies to do, but this is definitely looking much more fleshed out. Uh, yeah, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. And the cat is eating, which is great. I should probably actually talk to my cat. <laughs> Can I plop it down on the couch? Let me try that. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> ah! No, Camilo is a cat lover, but she finally gets to realize now that he has a cat. Hello, someone's thinking about me. I can see them. Who's thinking about me? I became friends with Vern, that's good. Oh, it's Christoph. Hey, Christoph. Uh, oh, are you just allowed in? Okay. I guess you probably have a key to my place. Or should I say, to my palace? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Wait, let's put the ceiling up so we can really get the effect. Oh, wait, where's my columns? Hang on. Oh, there. Gotta zoom out a bit. Yeah! Now this! Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Not even really looking at the cat, though. I'm gonna feel the love. Brush, maybe? I don't know. Hey, Christoph, are you gonna do anything? Or are you just gonna stand back there? <laughs> You just hanging out back there? Yeah, that's cool. Why when he cuddles the couch, does he- A couch? When he cuddles the cat, he like, holds the cat here and then he's like, mm, cuddle, cuddle. He like, looks the opposite way. Also, why am I still tense from wanting to be outside? We just went to the magic realm for like hours. You know what? I think Camillo has found love in his beautiful cat, Vern. We don't, we don't need to do any of the blind dating. He was doing all the dating because, okay, well the story, the reason we we're talking about doing dates and all that, if you missed it, was when we were playing other tiny towners, we'd always get phone calls from Camillo saying he wanted to date someone or he'd been on a date with someone. They weren't all dates. Some of them were also just hanging out with friends, but there was a lot of those. But maybe now that he's, he's got his cat, he's like, finally, I'm fulfilled. Where are you going with this cat, by the way? <laughs> Where are you putting Vern? All right, we've gone all the way over here. Okay. Well, I actually need to go to bed now, so. All right, anyway, let's go to sleep. See ya, Vern. See if we can get Vern back into the house. I actually do want to see if Vern is going to go toilet at all in this thing. Oh, Vern's back. Okay. Aw, sleeping on the couch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, yes. I lost, lost my outdoorsy lifestyle. Thank God. That one was so annoying. Okay, Vern is awake and Vern is going back to sleep. Okay. Now, keeping in mind, it is snowing and my house is open to the elements on all sides. There's archways everywhere, even in my bedroom up here. Oh, which actually, oh, first of all, that ceiling's not right. Maybe we should do the tiles up here as well for the ceiling. That'd be pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, it's currently snowing and it's just open. Oh God, it would be so bad. <laughs> Well, we pretend that that doesn't matter in this in this let's play, okay? Okay, well, what do I actually need to do? Because I need, oh, hey, ghost. 
Well, I think there's a few more things I need to furnish in here with. Maybe a couple things on the balcony, but more or less done. Downstairs I'm happy with. Uh, upstairs I'm kind of happy with too. I don't think there's anything I really need to do. Um, it's just a few finishing touches, I think. I'm I'm also concerned. I don't think I've seen the cat go use this thing yet. Also, it's outside in the snow. Probably not the nicest. So I might, for now, I'm going to put it there, but we might have to figure out if we can fit it in the bathroom or something. So I, I can't ask the cat to use it. I guess it will just use it eventually. I was just worried that it wasn't able to get to it outside. <laughs> All right, Vern is over in the uh, the town hall bistro, <laughs> hanging out by the fireplace, which is actually really cute. <laughs> All right, well, I'm in a pretty good mood. We're going to head to the magic realm, our new yoga spot, just because it's the middle of winter. If we do it outside, they're going to freeze and die. So unfortunately, I can't just go around town at the moment. Dude, I, I'm, loving, I'm loving this vibe now. I think you guys were onto something with keeping it open, light and bright and all the, the palms and, and uh, ferns and stuff. I think... That helps. Although these ones are outside in the snow, not great, but whatever. All right, I'm going to the magic realm. Vern, stay well. All right, make my way down to the old portal. Head to the magic realm. You know, it's super easy to get to. <laughs> Go there, teach them yoga. You know, get the uh, the spellcasters all limbered up. Mm, nice and warm here. Good, good, good. All right, get that out. Teach a yoga class public. And I guess mind concentrating. Excuse me, you there, join yoga. If you are in the magic realm, you are obligated to join my classes. I don't know how much money I need. Probably not too much, to be fair. Because I, I think I only need a few more decorations here and there to finish the house. All right, there's not too many people here at the moment, but we should get a few more people spawning in. Oh, here we go. You and you. Okay, pretty good turnout for our first, like, class here. Ruben's wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. Hmm, well, hang on. If I get paid, thank you. Quick, put in inventory. Why can't I put in my inventory? Quick, quick. Oh, I missed the call. Because <laughs> I didn't want to answer and travel and leave my mat here, but I guess it was too late. All right. Doing another class, let's go. Ah, my plum bob, what happened? My, my plum bob got detached from me. <laughs> I don't like that, why? Why is it, a, ah, that's better if I go to this angle. <laughs> I, I hate it, why has it done that to me? Okay, this is looking like a pretty good session right here. Look at this. Oh, you. Oh, it's too late. Dang, yeah, this, is, this is a good crowd. This is a good payday for us here. Now, if we get back in time, we'll also get to see Father Winter. Alrighty, everybody do your stretches, please. Looking good, looking good. 2,900. I mean, is that enough money? That might be enough. We can probably do a class in Tiny Town if we need a little bit more. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it is snowy here, dude. Okay, well, let's see if I can finish what I need to do. Again, I don't think there's that much I need to do here. Like, I was going to add like a TV. But do I, I mean, do we need a TV here? You know what I mean? A computer would probably be useful for my like small business. You know, I, I gotta, I gotta make money. Well, can we get the litter box? Uh, it's not really room in the bathroom is there. The balcony would be good, but it is snowing a lot. So not a great spot for it there either. <laughs> what about in that little Zen garden here? It's already got sand. <laughs> What's a kitty litter box in there? Uh, no, I can't do that. There's not really a good spot for it, is there? Why is there fruitcake in my bathroom? What is this? <laughs> Why is that on my sink? Get off. Put that in the kitchen. Okay, I might just have to go like here in the corner and then I have to move this. Let me just put this here. Hello? Hello? Thank you. Put it there for a sec. I think over in the town hall I have the purple desk which I want the purple desk for Camillo, because that's like perfect. Uh, hmm. There's a bit of a cramped corner over there, isn't it? Yeah, nice old computer. <laughs> Not the best looking corner, is it? You know, this column actually might fit here. I got rid of it originally, but I think it actually might still work. Because then we have a nice like square of columns here in the middle, which I think one kind of makes sense structurally with where they're placed in the middle like that. But two also looks kind of cool and I like it. I might move this one and have this fanned out one behind because that probably just makes more sense visually. I might do it this way just because this is the way we're looking at it. And then this guy, can this go in the corner here? Or is that not gonna... Kind of sticks through the walls too much is the problem. I mean, maybe it could just also be here in the middle. Actually, maybe here because obviously we can't walk through this way because there's a chair here. So maybe here because obviously that's not somewhere I can walk anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. Kind of. This whole area over here is not looking good. I think we need these there. That chair is not working. I don't know why. I don't know why I chose that. I just copied the dining chair. Probably just the matching chair to it makes sense. Trying to get some plants over there too. That's actually maybe a little neon. Maybe more like that one. This corner is kind of rough because of the the dang uh, litter box. <laughs> also, I'm fully aware that sitting and working at a desk next to a litter box is not a good idea. But this is a magical Sims one. 
where it lasers and destroys the poo poos right away, so it's okay. Look, it's not ideal, okay? I know, I know. Now, lighting wise, I'm just using a, like some spotlights at the moment. I don't know if there's a better option of what we could do in here. The problem is we can't really have too many hanging lights because they hang too far down, although like something like this is kind of good. And I get that, actually, if I put it right there, if I get rid of that light, does that make it, is it still bright? Pretty good. Yeah, actually that's not bad. Not super bright. Oh no, there it goes, it hadn't loaded. Okay, that's pretty good. I actually quite like this light from uh, For Rent. Although if I have to disable For Rent again, all these lights will disappear, so. <laughs> that's not great. But we'll see how we go. Okay, I think that's nice. I mean, I'm happy with it. I think maybe just like we need some, a picture here or a mirror or something. Oh, this kind of fits the vibes. Maybe that and then I need like, um, this is technically wall mounted, which actually means if I put the walls down, you won't see it. But does that matter? Cause I kind of like it. Hmm, I guess it's kind of annoying. Oh, there's also this one from Lovestruck. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. There's many of these indoor palms and stuff now, which is really good actually for this build. Kind of has to sit a bit away from the wall though, just because of its the leaves. I guess it's the I guess that's why it's good putting them in the middle of the room. <laughs> Maybe that's one too many. Maybe this one can go outside actually, because I need to stuff outside anyway. Speaking of which, where's that love struck bench? Wait, where is it? Hello? Is it not in the outdoor category? Okay, I don't think it's in outdoor outdoor. <laughs> Seating. All right, hang on. Wait, what? Am I going crazy? Is it not? Is it really not in the bench category? Is it in the love seat category? Oh, what? How is this not, dude? They the the tagging in Love Struck is so broken. Like half the items don't even appear. Well, not half the items. That's not true. There's like four items that don't appear at all in the catalog. Is there a purple one? It's white. White looks great. No purple. And I think I've run out of money again, which is not ideal. But yeah, we're definitely gonna have that there. I ideally want another one here, but obviously I can't afford it. But yeah, that's definitely an outdoor piece of furniture. It is not a love seat. Likewise, also, why are these other benches even in this category? <laughs> definitely be in the outdoor section. Now, the other thing I wanted to do is I think we need to change the ceiling up here to this, which I can't afford. So I do need to make a little bit more money. We're not quite done, nearly there. But this, I think this is coming along really nicely. Okay, I don't wanna to go to the Magic Realm again. I'm getting kind of bored of the Magic Realm. But I could, like I said, we could run a class in the community center or we could go to, wait, can I invite people to Sylvan Glade? I don't even know if I can do that. But what I was talking about is here, let's go to this person's house. Don't worry about the person there. Oh my gosh, it is so, <laughs> the weather is so bad. Okay. And then we go to our tree here. I'm hoping I can, I can invite people to this lot when I get there. But yeah, this tree, in case you don't know, uh, sure, I like singing, is the way to get to the secret world in Willow Creek. So we kind of just discuss, oh, there we go, it's open. Okay, we go explore now. Okay, stop talking to it. Let's go in the tree to the magical world of the Sylvan Glade. Now, I can't remember the exact ones. I'm just gonna click and see what happens. Follow downstream, follow downstream. Enter the mist. Oh, there you go, travel to the glade. Okay, I think it was all the top. All right, we're gonna go to the glade. Which I think, again, I think the time and the weather here don't change. Although I may be mistaken, we'll find out. Yeah, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful weather, beautiful daylight. I don't think the sun ever moves on this lot. Now, can I invite people here? Cause that, that's the other thing I need to do. But can I get Tiny Town here? Invite to current lot, yeah, okay. Here we go. Oh wait, what am I doing? Hang on. <laughs> I'm like manually inviting them and we have a club. Start a gathering. Wait, club gathering is not available. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> Dang it, okay, I, will, I do have to invite them one by one. Kind of wish I hadn't canceled that all before I figured that out, all right? And you know what, we're getting Nalani and Samaj here as well. Oh, my queue is full. All right, now I will, um, I'm gonna form a group just so I can hopefully keep everyone together. I like how everyone comes here and all they do is just jump on their phone and don't talk to anyone. They're like, yeah, let me just check my phone now. Why is that, why are they all just checking their phone? Like, why is that the activity? Now I won't be able to add, I think, oh, wait, what? Are you okay? Why are you cold? Wait, what's actually going on with you? Cause it is warm here. Uh, uh, I know you're a mermaid. Do, do mermaids go blue if it's warm? <laughs> Maybe every day outfit. Plus I think I'm gonna get too hot in this outfit, aren't I? Yeah, so she's cold. Why are you blue? Okay, can you go tell her to change outfits? What's happening? Oh there, okay, well she's not blue anymore. All right, cool. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. All right, so this is a, there's, there is a lot here. It's kind of small though. It's kind of hard to place that. So if I just go, let's go here together, place in world. We're gonna do some yoga here in the glade. Oh, look at this place. It is beautiful though, isn't it? Okay, doing yoga. Why? Get off your phone, people. Seriously, what is going on here? <laughs> Why is that their default activity? And then you guys that aren't in the club because the club is full. There we go. All right, I've invited everyone to yoga here in the glade. Oh, dang it, Scarlet. Come on, find another spot if you can't do it. No, don't worry, Scarlet's on her phone. Okay, so I think I need to buy like a bench and maybe a couple more things for the balconies. But we're pretty much done. So this actually might be enough money here. Tiny town, tiny town, doing yoga in Sylvan Glade. Tiny town, tiny town, 
We're here to help out all of Tiny Town. Yeah, except for Scarlet, who's, I don't know, playing Farm Simulator. Wait, what's that, what's that, fa like that Facebook game that always existed? Farm, Farmland, Farm, Farms are, what is it called? There's something, farm, something with a farm. Anyway, she's playing some dumb farming game because she likes gardening. That was the joke. But I couldn't even think of the, <laughs> the name of the game. Yeah, look at this. The, the sunlight is permanent here. The warmth is permanent. It's beautiful. All right, everybody lay down. Cough up the money, thank you. It is 7 p.m., but it doesn't look like it here because it is stunning. Thanks everyone, 2,600, is that enough? Do we do another one just to be safe? Let's do one more. Do mind concentrating. All right, everybody in. Dude, Scarlet, just find a spot. Oh, she's failed again. I mean, you guys are on top of each other. If you can't find a spot, Scarlet, that's on you. <laughs> Pablo and Ruben are like on the same mat. <laughs> she's like, no, I just gotta harvest all my crops because I've got a 30 minute timer and I really want to get it now so I don't have to wait another 30 minutes. All right, cool. All right, let's put that in my inventory in a second. All right, thanks for coming everyone. I'm gonna go home, bye. Oh yeah, it's Winterfest. We're all here. Oh, that's kind of nice. We're all together on Winterfest. Now I'm gonna go home and leave you all in the glade. Hey, that was pretty fun. Well worth the effort. Oh, thank you, that was nice. Okay, so make it as bright as we can. I want to get another bench over this side. Oh, I guess the other thing I need to do is probably a little bit of landscaping around the base, right? Up top is probably pretty good. I got my yoga mat, got the uh, meditation stool. I don't think I really need anything else. Like what else would I put here? I guess I could do a bench up here again. I mean, and then maybe, I don't know, another plant. We like plants here. Get one of those up there. Beautiful. Do we have lights outside? I feel like we need some outdoor lighting probably. What light would work? This? This makes sense. Although, it does, is it going to produce any light? What's happening? <laughs> does it do anything? I feel like it just hasn't loaded. You know, some, oh, there you go. Yeah, sometimes you place lights that just doesn't like load the lighting for ages. Do we do like a gold, like a brown kind of gold? Hang on, we had a daytime. Mm. Maybe it should be placed. Hmm. Oh, the Realm of Magic one's actually kind of cool. Oh, actually these might be like perfect. Ooh, we've got like a purple looking one. Now the question is, do we, what the heck is going on over there? <laughs> Wait, is that the moon? If we do a bunch of these around, what does this look like? Get four of those there. Hang on. Do we then use the same ones here or? I don't really know where to put them. Maybe like over the window there. Is that weird? It's kind of weird, but like, I don't know what else to, where else to put it. Kind of cool. We're like around the back. I probably don't need lights because we're not even there. Okay. Oh, and then I need to do the ceiling. That's right in here. <laughs> I really like that as a ceiling. I think that's actually a really fun idea. Cause I think, it, I think to be honest, I think it's too much as the floor, but I think as a ceiling, uh, that's that's cool. <laughs> I, I like that. That's fun. And also because it means we only see it when we do that, which is not that often. So it's there, but you know, it's a little bit more subtle. Question is, do I do it down here then as well? What does it look like? If it, oh, I forgot. I forgot. I probably should have changed these ceilings. I forgot. I'm doing it now anyway, so that's good. Uh, these outdoor ones, I probably do want to still be this though, like the stone tile. Makes more sense. Although for some reason I can't select this one. Uh, I don't know why, but I guess I can't change that bit. All right, what does this one look like in here? Oh yeah, yeah. I do think, yeah, that mosaic as the ceiling, I think is a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's fun. Cause then you still, yeah, you still get the pattern, still get the color, but it's not like overwhelming, I don't think. At least not from our perspective. Maybe as a Sims perspective, it's annoying. Now, oh, I was, so I was gonna do like the moat around, but how much does that cost? I don't know if I have enough money for that, do I? How much is this? $1,200? I can't afford. What if we just do a single piece like that? 600 bucks. I like the idea of water around it, but obviously I can't afford to do the whole thing. Maybe we just do the sides like this. Get the tiles under there. <laughs> Get the purple in there as well. And then I probably need to do some, oh, it's kind of annoying because the um, the season is terrible. So it's hard to see what plants look like. I need some lighting. I still We still need more lighting around here though, like around just in general. What about these here? Is this weird? Because they're kind of all in different places. Like up here, they're on the diagonal. Over here, they're there. There. I need like lights around the place though too. I mean, there's the, is it a lamp? Or is it a floor lamp? The one that matches, yeah, this, which is pretty cool. But I feel like this just, br oh, it says functional off the grid, but wait, what is it? Is it a candle? What is this? Oh, it is a candle. Oh, okay. I was like, does it break in rain? No, obviously not if it's a candle. So maybe I can get a couple of these here. Ooh, purple. Fortunately, they don't produce that much light. Oh, wait, no, there they go. It hadn't loaded and I've run out of money. Hmm, dang it. Okay, maybe I don't do the pools. The pools don't even look that, or the fountains. They don't even look that good. I think it'd be better with plants there and I can save a bunch of money by not doing those. Wait, how did I get eight? Oh, because the tiles. It's like, it didn't cost me that much, but I think the flooring and the wallpaper combined added up. So yeah, I, I think my money's better used spending it on lights and stuff around the place. Can I put, no, oh, that won't do anything. I was gonna put a light there, you can't see it. Actually we could, you know what we could do? So I've got ceiling lights in here because I wanted to be able to see in these windows, but if I put that 
little lantern, and then we do this platform, raise it up so you can see the lantern through the windows. That could be kind of cool. But I think that's window height. Uh, is it on? I mean, it does not look as cool as I thought it would. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's really worth it. I, I don't think so. I'm going to undo that. It was a cool idea, but it didn't do anything for us. All right, decorations. Is there something I can put on this wall here? Let me go back to daytime. Oh, I don't have any to wall. Is this, what tree is this? Is this our colored tree or is this a different one? Yeah, that's our purple tree right there. So that'll be there normally. Oh, and then we can do the love struck jacaranda. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna have to jump into the, the edit world mode, which means the money isn't gonna count. Oh wait, no, it will. Sorry, I can just edit from Camilla's aspect. Sorry, that's confusing. Yeah, that's better. We can actually see what it looks like now. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now this is a palette. Oh, okay, let me clone that. Uh, this is a palace. Now I think we kind of just need, well actually if we're doing like palms and stuff, maybe we can get some palms around the place. That kind of fits the vibe of this sort of Arabian kind of palace with all the palms everywhere. Like, I think that's kind of cool. I, I don't know if it, like, I don't want to go over the top with palms, but I think some of them around them. Oh, maybe even in the water. That's kind of cool. <gasps> you know what would be cool? Hang on. Okay, move objects, please. Thank you. Yeah, I like it in the water. I don't know if it looks silly, but it's what I'm doing. So we're just going to have to deal with it. We definitely need to get fountains. Dome emitter? Probably not. I probably need the, just a jet. What is this? Me uh, jet water emitter? Small dancing, medium jet. I don't know how big these are. Which annoyingly, we can only see it in live mode, which I've now left. Oh, lotus lanterns are actually kind of cute. Maybe though. I'm gonna put a jet emitter in the middle of these. I don't know how big it is. We'll have to see it in live mode. We might need to change that. I think maybe another palm or two just around the lot, just to add to that sort of palacey vibe. <laughs> yeah. And then, oh, we gotta get, hang on. I do have to get the love struck jacaranda. Uh, which is funny, when I was saying the name of this tree, I think it must have been in the Love Struck Build by Overview. People thought it was funny the way I said Jacaranda, but we have loads of these in Australia and that's just how we pronounce it here. So yeah, it's interesting. All right, that's, I think, okay, it's not going through the wall, is it? Let me see. No, that's good. Very good. Now, let's just filter by purple because I feel like there's going to be some purple flowers. Yeah, yeah. lavender. Um, I was thinking, yeah, some of these are probably pretty big, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Need one of these down here too, just sort of filling that gap down there. Nice. I mean, they, these are from the Romantic Garden Pack, which makes sense. You know, we've got Love Struck, Romantic Garden stuff. It's all coming together. <laughs> and then, yeah, I think just some greenery down here. I do feel like plants really do kind of like finish off a space. All right, I've definitely run out of money now, so that's kind of it. But I think that's good. And I think the rest of the decoration will come from the community hall budget because I need to do the pathway. Um, but I think around here is looking pretty good. Maybe a little bit of terrain painting. There's like a little bit of bit of dirt around the place because obviously it kind of all be beautiful green grass, especially with all the shade. I think that'll that'll do. Like I think if we go here now. And check out the lot. Oh, I mean, I feel like that made such a big difference, just the plants and the palms. I think that the the suggestion of doing like the palms and, and ferns and all that, I think looks really good with this theme. And we have all the curtains like on the drapes over all the archways and everything. Looking pretty sweet. <laughs> this looks great. It's such a ridiculous build in the best possible way. Oh yeah, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Oh, those ceilings are white. Oh, I don't think I can afford to change them though, which is a problem. Cause I guess they should be these pavers, but yeah, I don't have enough money. We're not gonna worry about those. We're not gonna see them. All right, let me jump back into live mode. Well, actually no, before I go into live mode, let's have a look at the build now because otherwise it's gonna go all dark and gray and rainy. Oh, my door, my door glitched, my poor door. Let me check all the others real quick. Okay, looks good. All right, Camilo's Wellness Palace and Spa. Let's go. So this is actually shared space down here. So any tiny towner in any house can come in here and just to the right, go use the toilet. So this is, oh gosh. Yeah, I forget the wall is right there. This is a public bathroom, so we can all use that. Then we do have a nice little change room through here. Very nice. Look at that beautiful mosaic ceiling. I actually, I know I've said it a few times already in this video, but I do feel like the ceiling really works now. And then here we have, oh, this this room, I gotta be honest, it looks better from above when the walls are down. And let's not look in there anymore. Anyway, let's go into this room. <laughs> a nice little sort of uh, hand and foot massage, pedicure, manicure room. Very nice. Then over the hall, we've got the massage table room. Very nice. Look at this. Oh, nice little lantern out the window, looking good. Uh, and then over here, we've got our stairwell. And there probably should be something in there like rocks or something, but I don't have money right now. I guess, do I need that light? Let's scale these down. Yeah, 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 here we go. Oh, <laughs> I can afford one. All right, well, I can afford one rock. Uh, does that have sand color that matches? No. Okay, well, maybe I change the 
the color of the sand then to the white. Beautiful. <laughs> That's all I could afford. And I had to sell the lights for it. Well, it's okay. It's Look at that. Beautiful Zen garden. Probably could use a little bit of greenery in here, I'm gonna be honest. We might need to come back and add a few more things, but for the most part, we are definitely done. All right, and then we go up the stairs in the shared space to our front door, which goes through to the beautiful open plan apartment. Oh, that, that's kind of nice. D don't worry, the ceiling color, by the way, where it's different, that's just a glitch. Classic glitch in Sims. That should all be the same color, but. I actually, I mean, unironically kind of really like this space. It's really silly, but really cool. I feel like we could do like a full size build of this and it would be pretty epic. Nice dining area there, kitchen, living space, and then a little office space and cat space, the cat corner, very good. In here, we got our bathroom. Oh, the lights are off, but you know, I mean, it's nothing special anyway, a little bathroom. And then, oh, around this way to get to the bedroom, of course, through here and up the ladder to the beautiful open plan, open air bedroom. Nice wardrobe there, nice plants, a nice bench. You can sit out here, look over at Scarlet's. Good morning, Scarlet. Beautiful day we're having, right? <laughs> That's actually fun. Oh, maybe we should build a bridge over to Scarlet's. That'd be sweet, like a little rope bridge or something we could walk over there on. That'd be cool. <laughs> and we got a little meditation stool out here and a little yoga mat as well. You can do yoga out looking over the, whatever this place is called, the brambles. Is that right? Am I making that up? I don't know, but yeah, beautiful. Yeah, no, this is, I'm actually, I'm super stoked with this. All right, let's get back into uh, Camillo live mode and uh, finish off. All righty, Camillo, congratulations. You've completed Tiny Town. <laughs> well done, well done. Uh, your house is looking pretty sweet uh, and it's snowing. It's looking lovely. Let's go back home. Did Vern just leave? Oh, there's Vern. Let's hang out with Vern real quick. I just gotta get inside. Vernie. Oh, I gotta go to the toilet actually first. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Vern, one sec. Papa's gotta go pee pee poo poo time. Which by the way, I've yet to see you use your dang laser guided litter box, which I paid a lot of money for, by the way. I had to sacrifice on some things for that. All right, Vernie. I like how I have to wear this inside. <laughs> I guess it's just so cold. Vern, Vern. There we are. All right, let's uh, give a treat and plop down on couch. But yeah, I overall, I'm very happy with this and I'm so glad I was able to figure out what the dang building bug was because that means, first of all, I feel like every bug I do fix in this tiny town with for rent stuff. Oh, that's actually a really nice framed scene. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, every bug that I do manage to fix, it does seem like I'm learning more about it. So I know that that specific bug we were getting can't build outside of owned area was due to the game trying to edit another unit that we couldn't even see what was happening. So I know what that is now, you know? And there's a few other bugs that I figured out along the way. I'm learning, I'm learning, we're figuring it out, but Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to my top level members. I hope you guys enjoyed Camillo's Palace, which is now done. Hopefully the interior and design is a little bit better than what we ended up with in the last episode. I mean, in my defense, I was struggling because I'd spent like an hour and a half in the middle of that video trying to fix a bug that we never managed to fix, which was very frustrating. But I think coming back to this and looking at it now, I'm very happy. Although there's two columns missing. We can't, they are there, but we just can't see them on the camera, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, hang on, let's get them back. Yeah, there you go. Look at this place. All right, next episode of Tiny Town. There's not many Tiny Towners left. We have Sonny, his final episode. Silas still needs a second episode. And Ruben needs his final episode too. So only three Tiny Towners left. And don't forget, once all the Tiny Towners are done, we do still need to do maybe one or two more final episodes because there's a few more loose ends to tie up, a few things to do around Tiny Town. Like for example, if there's anything I missed out with Camillo, do let me know in the comments down below and we'll come back in those final uh, episodes to sort of finish off everyone's little bits and bobs. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.